If you've ever been in a motor vehicle accident, you'd understand how crazy and confusing a scene of an accident can get. I've been in a couple myself, and no matter how big or small, I can tell you they're never nice. So today, thanks to City Toyota, we're going to give you a couple of tips that'll help reduce the impact an accident has on you. Firstly, accidents of any kind are very stressful. Therefore, most people's body will release adrenaline to cope. So be aware of this and try your best to stay calm. A great way to stay calm is to slowly assess the situation. Check yourself, your passengers, and then your surroundings. It's only at this stage you should get out of the car, and only, of course, if it's safe. If your accident takes place on a busy highway like this, always try and get your cars to the safety of the emergency lane before exiting. And never wait for help inside the vehicle. The stats of people killed in stationary cars would surprise you. Always try and get out of the vehicle and wait on the safety of the verge, which is what I'm doing right now. Wayne, you provide a service at City Toyota that helps reduce the impact an accident can have on one of your customers? Yeah, that's right, Aaron. So once you've logged the police report, you need to lodge the claim for your insurance. We can help you with that with three simple steps through Toyota Insurance. One is online, one is, uh, the other is ringing, or thirdly, you can come into us and we can handle that all for you. Now, Wayne, if they choose Toyota Insurance, there's other benefits to them as well? That's right. So when you come into us, it's a one-stop shop and we can have a look at if you're eligible for a hire vehicle, if you're not at fault in the accident or your vehicle's been stolen. The other thing we like to do is that the car's less than three years old, more than likely eligible for a new for old replacement. And further to that, we want to refer you to the right repairer that uses genuine Toyota parts. And that protects your resale in your vehicle and makes sure that you have happy motoring. Whether the accident is your fault or not, you have legal obligations. To help me explain what they are, I'm going straight to the people who know, the police department. Hi Sarge, how are you? Good Aaron. I need some advice. I was wondering if you could help me advise some people at home what their obligations and expectations are in an accident. Okay, you must also always um, report a crash if it uh, occurs on a road or in uh, a car park open to the public where there's grievous bodily harm injuries, mm -hmm. uh, damage in excess of $3,000 to the vehicles or property, uh, or properties damaged and the owner isn't present. People with mobile phones now, have uh, th they can take a picture. Would you advise them to actually take a photograph yeah. of the crash? Good idea to take some photos of the vehicles in the situ as to where they ended up and road and weather conditions for the investigator to look at. So hopefully now, if you're ever unfortunately involved in an accident, you'll know exactly what to do to reduce the stress it has on your life. Simply call City Toyota. Go to citytoyota.net.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Thank you.